Hey everybody, welcome back to Zero to Heroes Season 2, Episode 15. Last episode we actually came away with a win from our new Trick Room team. I'm very ecstatic and ready to dive back in there and see what we can come away with today. I have 11 more days as of right now. I'm still filming this on the 20th. I have 11 more days until the end of the season, so I really want to get some more battles in there and do what I can to try to get up the uh, ladder as far as I can. Uh, the Pokeball tier here has the same awards as the beginner tier this season. Uh, an ability capsule, a bold mint, a calm mint, and 50 battle points. So I really would like to make our um, goal and get into that great ball tier, because that would give me three bottle caps, an ability capsule, a bold mint, a calm mint, and 100 battle points. So double a bunch of things for me. Um, don't know if it's going to happen. We're going to see it if we can. Uh, of course, the Ultra Ball tier would be nice as well. That's definitely not going to happen this season. Ultra Ball tier will give us a gold bottle cap and 300 battle points. And then the Master Ball tier gives you three gold bottle caps and 600 battle points. Now, if you want to know what the bottle caps do, you can take them to the guy inside of the battle tower uh, who does hyper training, and he will hyper train uh, stats for the Pokemon for you. And that will a bit basically max out the certain Eevees our Ivy stats for you instead. You can't pass them down when you breed because it uses the original Ivies, but the Pokemon will count as having a max Ivy. A normal bottle cap will give you one max Ivy, and then a golden bottle cap will give you max will max out all the Ivies. So it's definitely something to look into if you guys are interested in uh Ivy breed or not Ivy breeding like I do. Uh so definitely check it out. Uh so this is a lot of fun anyway to enter these tournaments, even when we are losing like we've been. Uh, but I'm happy to be on a, at least <laughs> one win. Uh, we're back to four and nine. So we're going to go back in today, see if we can get that to five and nine. We'll still be above, uh, we'll go back to being above 50% if we can win today. Uh, right now I think we're at, we're below 50% right now with four ninths. Um... Let's look that up. I'm bad at math, so don't judge me. As a percent. Let's go ahead and see what this guy has here. Arcanine, Excadrill, Gyarados, Togekiss. A lot of stuff I can actually take out here with Rhyperior. Uh, so Rhyperior is definitely coming in. I can take out the Dragapult with the Hatterane. So Hatterane is coming in next to Ndidi as usual. Rhyperior is definitely coming in. Rhyperior definitely seems to be uh, one of our key offensive uh, uh, Pokemon here. And I could go ahead and bring in Chandelure. Chandelure would definitely take out the Rodom. Uh, it can take out the Excadrill. But that's really about it. I could bring Conkelder. Conkelder would take out the Excadrill. It would take out the Gyarados. It would take out the Rodom. And it would take out the uh, Togekiss. So I'm going to bring in uh, Conkelder in the back end and just have Hatterane as our special attacker here. We're going to see how this does. I didn't grab a drink today. Uh, I was a little upset about that. I'm a little cotton mouth. Uh, so hopefully we can win here. <laughs> win or lose here quickly enough that I can go get a drink after this battle. Hopefully we can come away with a win though. He's opening up with Gyarados, Excadrill. Pretty good combination right there. Uh, it's going to give us an Intimidate probably off that Gyarados, unless it is running Moxie. Let's see what it does use here. It's going to be running Moxie. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Mystical, F not Mystical Fire. I got to remember, Trick Room before anything else. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw up the Follow Me. That way I can get the Trick Room up guaranteed. And then I can start throwing Mystical Fires into. Uh, Excadrill, and then I need to also figure out how to take out that Gyarados right away. Um, probably going to bring in... Uh, I'm having a brain fart. Yes, I'm going to bring in Rhyperior off the back end once Ndidi falls here. Pretty sure Ndidi's going to fall to a Waterfall and an Iron Head. Or an Earthquake. That's definitely to be a little bit more on the conservative side for Hatterane. Hatterane eats it up, luckily for us, to get the Trick Room up. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw out a Heavy Hitting Dazzling Gleam, I think. It's going to be not very effective on the Excadrill, though. It will break the Sash out on the Gyarados if need be. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to use Helping Hand on Hatterane to be able to boost that up a little bit higher. Hopefully enough to take out the Gyarados. If it's not sashed, which it probably is. Uh, but if it's not, it did at least get um, broken. And he's definitely going to take out both Hatterane and uh, Mbidi here. Which is fine because I'm going to have the Rhyperior come in to help sweep up here. Boom, those two are going to fall. I got, I think, two more uses on my Trick Room. Which is fine because I'm going to get both of these guys out here and take both these two Excadrills and Gyarados out this turn. I'm going to outspeed both of them without a doubt. So first things first, I'm going to Dynamax, Max Rockfall on the Gyarados. That needs to go. And then I'm going to use Thunder Punch. Not Thunder Punch, what am I doing? Dynamax, Max Quake on the Excadrill. Needs to go. Thunder Punch on the Gyarados. Needs to go. There we go. That seems like a better the better option for me. I'm worried about the Moxie Gyarados as it's starting to get the boosts now. Um, but this should be more than enough to take these two out with the Thunder Punch and the uh, ground attack here on the Excadrill. He did not switch out, so I'm definitely going to be able to get first here. Uh, the only option is, is if you use Protect on either of these two, it's going to make me waste a turn on the Trick Room. I'm hoping that he didn't. And even if he does, I'm hoping that it's enough that I can take out at least one of his mod here with the uh, Rockfall. He's going to Dynamax his Gyarados. So hopefully he doesn't Max Guard, because if he doesn't Max Guard on the Gyarados, the Gyarados is down. Maybe it's not down, actually. Nope, it's down. Whew, that's good to know. So Gyarados is down. There. That's actually going to get rid of his Dynamax. So the two Pokemon are in the back. And I don't have to worry about as much. And then here comes the Max Quake, which is going to be enough to take out the Excadrill without a doubt. Boom, there it goes. And right now, I think... No matter what he has in the back end, I am set up fairly nicely. Uh, if he has Togekiss, Togekiss can drop to both of these things. Uh, if he has Arcanine, Arcanine I am worried about because Arcanine has that Intimidate on. Um, and that's definitely one of the ones I'm worried about. Here it comes. Arcanine with the Intimidate, going to lower our attacks. And the Togekiss, I'm not worried about at all. I'm going to just be honest straight up there. The Intimidate's going to hit. That's fine. I'm not too worried about the Intimidate. Uh, Togekiss, I'm going to get out of here pretty quickly. We're going to use... Should I use Max Rockfall? Or should I use the... Hmm. I'm going to use Max Quake here to take out the Arcanine. I want to get Arcanine out of here as quickly as I can. And then I'm going to use the Thunder Punch on the Togekiss here. We're still in the Trick Room, so I should be out speeding. Even though my uh, attack has dropped, I'm still going to be doing a good amount of damage. He has a weakness policy up on the Togekiss, which is interesting. Uh, but I'm going to get a Max Quake off here. Hopefully it'll be enough to take down the Arcanine. And it is. Arcanine is in fact down. So we're well on our way to a win here, guys, because Togekiss I might do a good amount of damage, but I don't see it being enough to withstand the combined assault of these two here. Wow. I <laughs> did a lot of damage. Uh, it's also going to proc my weakness policy. Wow. I did a lot more damage than I expected it to. Uh, we're still in our trick room, though. So this is going to be it. The Thunder Punch from Kinkalder should be enough here. Boom. And that is it, guys. We're going up to a 2-0 start with this team today. Very excited about that. We're going to go up on the ladder a little bit more. We're above 50%. We were at 44.4444 repeating percent on our wins. But now we're, that we're going up to 5 ninths, uh, we are now 55.5% repeating. Uh, so we're definitely getting to a better positioning here. 
and we're definitely in winning more than half our battles. Uh, we're not winning more than we're losing it, but we are looking better. So let's check out our opponent's team here. He has the Agua Berry on the Arcanine. Um, with the Intimidate ability, obviously special attack speed. Flamethrower, Snarl, Will-O-Wisp, Burnup. Really good attack here, our setup here. That Snarl is going to shut down specially defensive, or specially attacking Pokemon. Uh, Will-O-Wisp is going to shut down attacking Pokemon in general because of that intimidating ability. Uh, so it's going to hit really hard, and it's going to stop physical Pokemon like it would stop from Kelder. Uh, unless I had Guts on it, I don't have Iron Fist on mine, so that would have shut down that Pokemon. It also would have shut down um, Rhyperior, so it's a good thing I was able to get Rhyperior uh, in when I did to get that thing out of there. Focus Sash on the Excadrill. I'm glad I popped that with the Dazzling Gleam. Seemed like a little bit of a waste to throw the Dazzling Gleam out there, but as long as I was able to pop the Focus Sash, it put us into a good positioning. Max Attack, Max Speed with the Sand Rush. He didn't really have anything to set up the Sand, so I don't know why he threw Sand Rush out there. Uh, he could have used another ability, but I don't know. Earthquake, Iron Head, High Horsepower Protect. Pretty stock standard there. Uh, then we got Gyarados with the Assault Vest. This was probably another bulky Gyarados setup. Max Attack, Max Speed with the Moxie. I don't know why he used Assault Vest without putting other IV or EVs into the defensive. Uh, he should have, with this uh, setup, he probably should have went with either the Focus Sash, like I thought it had on it, or even like a Life Orb or a Choice Band or something like that. Uh, an Assault Vest I don't think was really too needed. Uh, but who am I to say? We got Power Whip, Waterfall, Bounce, and Earthquake. Good little setup there. Uh, I don't think I don't like Bounce. Uh, it is a good flying type coverage, and it does give it access to that and the Dynamax. Uh, but other than that, I don't like it to be honest with you guys. Uh, we have the Togepiss with the Weakness Policy. Really good item to have in general, especially in this generation. Uh, weakness Policy is a really good item on these Dynamax Pokemon. Uh, max Special Attack, Max Speed, making this thing even stronger when that Weakness Policy proc. These things are usually run as specially defensive and defensive, uh, so having a special attacking version of it was definitely throwing me off. Uh, it has an Air Slash, Heat Wave, Dazzling Gleam, and Follow Me. Again, good setup, especially with that Dazzling Gleam. Hit both my Pokemon pretty hard, but it was enough for us to still come away with a win there. Dragapult with Light Clay. I'm actually concerned about the Light Clay. I don't know why he would put Light Clay on a Dragapult. Uh, max Tag, Max Speed with the Clear Body Ability. Again, Infiltrator's probably better, unless you're trying to get the Follow Me to work. Uh, it prevents the moves of abilities from lowering this Pokemon's stats. Uh, Draco Meteor, Thunder Wave, Light Screen, Reflect. I have never seen a Dragapult since I've started this set up for support. I don't think that's the Pokemon that you want to use for support. I mean, he's got alright defenses, but he is a sweeper at heart. He's got a really high attack stat, really high speed stat. It's just... I don't know, I don't think I would set up a Dragapult as a support Pokemon. And we got the Rodom with the Citrus Berry. Uh, max Special Attack, Max Speed with Levitate. Pretty stock standard for the Rotom Mo. Uh, Thunderbolt, Leaf Storm, Thundershock Protect. Thundershock, not what I would have put in there. If you really wanted to put um, screens on anything, it would have been on this thing, in my mind's eye. Because this thing is actually decent support. Um, where... Dragapult, it's just, it's not. Uh, but that, oh, then we have Arcanine. I almost forgot about Arcanine. Agua of Berry for the healing. Intimidate ability, special attack speed, pretty stock standard. Wait, no, I, I did do Arcanine. What am I doing? <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for me, guys. Uh, I'm excited to be back in the win column, especially being on a 2 and 0 win streak. Let's see what it does for our points here. Um, we're going to hit that double battle button. I want to show the team off, see if it gives us our points now. If not, we're just going to end the video. It does give us our points, and we're so close to tier 5. Finally. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know what, what tier Great Ball tier is. I'm actually going to look that up real quick. Tier is Great Ball tier. Sword and shield. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I know, I see Ultra Ball, I see a picture of Ultra Ball rank here, is ranked, our tier 10. 
Uh, so I'm imagining Great Ball tier is probably about tier 7 or 8. Uh, we're on tier 4 right now. We're going to try to get to the Great Ball tier. I don't see it really working out for us this season. Maybe next season. I'm um, going to stick, I think, with the Strict Room team for a while. If we start losing with this, I'm going to definitely tweak it a little bit, but I think Trick Room is going to be our niche for a while. It's definitely a good counter to what's out there in the metagame right now because people are really concentrating heavily on speed. So if I can shut that down, especially with Ndidi, uh, Ndidi is definitely an amazing Trick Room support and probably the best one out there right now because of that Misty Surge ability. But that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching this with me. I'm so glad to be back in the win column. It's been so long, I feel, since we've had 2-0 start with any team. I hope we can make it to 3-0. Uh, Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Yeah, it would be great. Uh, but there's no telling what's going to happen. I'm pretty sure your uh, ladder rating is based on your win-loss percentage. Uh, because being at 55.5% is a lot better than being at 44.4%. And you could tell whenever we got to the 44.4% that we only went up a little bit in points. But then when we got up to 55.5, we went up a lot more. Uh, so it's definitely based on percentage of win over lost rather than um, how many wins over how many losses you have. Which is pretty good. I do like that. Um, but that's going to be it, as I said, for us guys. Um... Leave a like down below if you like this video. A thumbs down, of course, if you didn't. In the comment section down below, please let me know why. That way I can go ahead and try to improve our content for you, for me, and for all the other subscribers and viewers that are going to watch this eventually. Uh, while you're down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ding that notification bell. That way you'll be uh, notified of future content as I post it. And if the end screens aren't up now, they will be soon. And you'll be able to see the rest of the Season 2 playlist that we have been going on. It's been a rough battle, but it seems like we're starting to turn things around, which that is very nice. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. And there's also going to be a video on the left-hand side, probably, uh, of some, something on my channel that YouTube recommends for you guys. So if you want to check that out, please go right ahead. It would mean a lot to me. And if you guys have made it this far with me, again, it means the absolute worry, world to me. It really does. Thank you guys so, so much. And until the next one, guys, as always, take it easy.